Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela, and in today's video, I have a little free library vlog for you. We go to about nine little free libraries in this vlog, and I did wanna pop in before the video to just apologize for my filming skills in this video. I don't do a great job at showing the books, but I will get better, okay? I wanna do more of these and I'm learning from my mistakes. So just bear with me in this video. Also, there is some loud car sounds at certain points. So if you have headphones in, just be aware of that. Maybe turn your volume down a little bit. But yes, let's go ahead and get right into the Little Free Library vlog. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela. <laughs> And in today's video, I am going to be doing a little free library vlog. So we are heading to the first library. How many are we going to go to? Six total. Okay, so we have six little free libraries that we've mapped out. And so we're heading to the first one now. Oh my gosh, you know what I completely forgot? Mm -hmm. To bring a bunch of books. I had a bunch of books I was going to bring in case I find things to leave in the little free libraries. And I didn't do that, so I feel really bad. Well, should we go get them? No, it's okay. Yeah. So the first one that we're going to is in a nice neighborhood. So hopefully there's good books in there. And I know that there's two little free libraries in the same neighborhood, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then right after- down the street from each other. And then after that, the next one is in a park. We bookmarked a couple other ones, like in a different part of our city. And then after that, we're going to a brewery for lunch. Yeah, and then we'll go get lunch. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> we're at the first little free library and I feel very awkward because we're in front of people's houses, but we're just gonna get over the fear and just go. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go. I don't think anybody's out anyways. Okay, so this one's really cute. Isn't it? Mm-hmm, it is. Yeah. Let's see what's in it. it looks nice. <gasps> oh, there's a little lock on it. Okay. <gasps> wow, okay. I want to see what's in it and stuff. Okay. So we have a lot of older books, which is like, you always see that in little free libraries. Mm -hmm. You know, like mostly older things. Yeah. Vampires of Hollywood, okay. The Click. We have The Click. Oh, oh a cute little bookmark. Let's see what else. Um, I remember finding this at a library book sale. But I didn't pick it up. Hmm. The accident. Lots of old paperbacks. This is so cute. It has like a little roof on it. Mm-hmm. The actual shingles. Yeah. Why not me, Mindy Kaling? Here's a classic, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Okay, well, I'm not really seeing anything in this one. But they have lots of books, so that's cool. I'm so sad that I forgot to bring books that I could leave, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a very cute one. And I also like how it matches their house, mm -hmm. you know? I am a little worried that all of the little free libraries are going to be like really old books and we're not going to find anything. I guess I'm not worried because like who cares if we don't find anything. Yeah. It's just kind of the experience of like going to all of them. But I am kind of expecting every time I go to a little free library it's always like very old mass market paperbacks and just things I'm not really interested in you know. But also, like, of course, like, you're not going to find new books in them. Yeah, but remember in Columbus, you did find that one. That is true, yeah. We went to one little free library in Columbus that had, like, a brand new release in it. Um, Tell Me I'm Worthless, and I can't remember the author, but... Yeah, so now we are going to our second one, which is in this neighborhood, so we're only two minutes from that. There is the next one. That one looks nice. Yeah, cute. So here's the next one. What does that say in memory? Okay. Oh, there's like lights on it. Yeah, for at night. Yeah, you Solar open light. it. Wow, this one's very deep. Mm -hmm. Even the top, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Let's see what's in there. This one's standing out to me because it looks newer. 
if I tell you the truth. Looks like a YA. Not interested in that. I found one. What's this one? What's this? Goss. Interesting. That looks cool. <laughs> the design, art, fashion, and fashion of a dark subculture. That looks cool. Whoa. Oh, that's creepy. All right, I'm kind of interested. <gasps> this looks cool just to like look through, you know? Yeah. Those illustrations. I feel bad because I didn't bring anything. You know? I would take that one. All right. I think that was cool. <laughs> All right. We'll look at that one. What else is in here? Lots of children's books. Okay, well, these are all kind of, you know, typical things. Wait, what? Okay, somebody here is, like, very into goth stuff. No. Like, look at this one. Oh, cool. Encyclopedia Gothica. Yeah. Like, somebody in this neighborhood is very, like, you know? Yeah. There is, like, little flies flying around here. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool, but I'm not going to take this. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's cool. That's a yeah, cool it's like find. something you typically don't see. Right. That's a fun one. So should I take this? Do I really need it for my shelf? I don't need this. I think you do. No, it's just cool to look at. I think you should take it. No, because I don't want to just like collect things, you know, but I, I do know. like to see it. But it looks cool. I, I'm not going to use it though. So yeah, that's That'd fun. Be interesting. That's a cool find, but I don't need it. I'm good at like keeping myself from buying things and, you know, just collecting for the sake of collecting. Yeah. Look how cute this one is. Mm -hmm. Nice little sitting area. This one's so cute. This is the cutest little free library. Yeah, they made this one really nice. And look at the handle on it. That's so cute. Oh, they even have hand sanitizer in there. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Here, can you kind of show inside it a little? Alright, I'll see if there's anything cool in here. Is this a graphic novel? No way. Oh, that's so cool. I'll keep this in there because it's like a kid's one, you know? Yeah, that looks really nice. In case a kid comes. like. But I would read it. Mm -hmm. I like like middle grade graphic novels. Yeah. This looks kind of like a thriller. Near dark. Lost in the Who, park. Home alone. Huh? This looks old. Let's see what else. They found him dead. Look, the wicked, wicked ladies in the haunted house, Mary Chase. That looks fun. That does. This looks like something I would really enjoy. <gasps> A gift from, oh, look. Wow. Year 2005. 2005 yeah. That's my name. Kayla Marshall. I mean, that's not how you spell it. No, but still. I feel like I should take this. Yes. It is addressed to you. Okay, this was written in 1968. This must be a classic. I've never heard of this, though. The Wicked, Wicked Ladies in the Haunted House. Yeah, me either. I, I will look this up on audio and listen to the audio of this. I don't want to take it. I feel bad taking things because I didn't bring anything, you know? Yeah. They have a lot of children's books in this one. So that's pretty cool. All right, what's up here? Sea magic. That looks like a good fantasy. The Lemon Sisters. Looks like a good beach book. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a Percy Jackson. Mm. The Mark of Athena. Oh, we have a Tom Clancy. Um, Those are your favorite. No. Okay, they've got some DVDs back here. Let's see. Okay, another Percy Jackson. Mm. Alright, um, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. I'm not seeing anything else, but this is a very cool one. Yeah, this is really oh, here's nice. here's a hatchet. Mm. Everyone read that. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I didn't. I remember those books. <laughs> I read two of them. Oh, you did? Mm hmm Yeah, this is a very cute little free library. Yeah. about our little free library, the little free libraries we've gone to so far. I really like them. I like how they're all a little bit different and you can 
kind of see how people decided to make them. You know? That's like kind of what I was looking at. Is how like how they decorated it. Yeah, how they built them, and it's cool how they actually put shingles on them. And right. You can pick a glass door or a solid door. Yeah, and you can make your own. Yeah, just how it's you like. Can a, make them. It's up to you. Yeah, I can build one. Yeah. Or you can buy them from the website. Yeah. Okay, so we are. We've just gone to three. And we're going to our fourth one now. We have so we have three more left. But it looks like we're driving. Like that looks like rain. Like do you yeah, see that? Yeah, it might be some more rain. Okay, it is currently now raining on me, and this is the fourth one. This is also a very busy little neighborhood, and so I'm very worried all of these cars are staring at me. Okay, so let's see what's in this one. So. Right off the bat, we have some Game of Thrones books. Not interested. Um, I mean, same old, same old that we've been seeing in all of them. Lots of old paperbacks, children's books. Oh my gosh, okay, it's starting to rain really bad. <laughs> oh, what is in there? I mean, yeah, nothing that good. Some more Game of Thrones books. And my husband's sitting in the car for this one, so I don't have somebody to help me. Oh, okay, this one. I read this book, Things You Save in a Fire, but it wasn't really my thing. I read that one last year. How I Became a Pirate. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. This one's really small. Not the best we've seen so far. All right, so this is what we got going on right now as I was at that little free library. So that's fun. <laughs> and also there's a man over there who of course had to come outside right when I'm trying to do this and <laughs> was feel like he was watching me, but you say he wasn't. He wasn't, I was looking at him. He's minding his own business. I'm not good at this like filming out and about, you know? Yeah. Okay, so we have two more left and it is now raining really badly. Yeah, it's starting to come out. So yeah, this is like what we're looking at right now. So. Oh, it's so loud. Big old fat rain. That's okay, we're committed. Yeah. I'm going to them. You can stay in the car, but I'm going to them. Look, this is terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really bad. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, because it started monsooning, we decided to pause the little free library search, you know? Yeah. And go to lunch. So we we're going to go to a brewery in our area and get some food. While the monsoon blows over. Yeah, and then we'll go to the final two. Okay, we just had our lunch and now we are back on the road heading to the next Little Free Library. Alright, this is Little Free Library number 5. This one is in front of the school. And it looks cute. It has like a little bell on top. Yeah. Alright. Oh, there's a spider. Okay. This one's very sparse. So, and rice. What? Lots of what? Kids books on top. Makes sense since it's in front of a kid's school. Ah! Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, so. Anything good? Anything good? I feel like this is a popular middle grade. Mm. Um, conversational French. Um. That'll be good for when we go to watch the Tour de France. Yeah. The Kite Runner. All right, nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing in that one. <laughs> Nothing else. That one's pretty small. Anything else to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take a book, bring the book back. All right, this is the final little free library. If I can open it. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is a good one, but it's a library copy. It's a withdrawn copy. 
Uh, I know everybody's loving this book, but I don't really want to own a copy. I mean, that is a good find. I feel like this is the best find we found all day. But I don't need that. I don't need it. I'm very good at being picky. Okay, so that's good. Um, that's like it. What's this? A romance. Lisa Jackson. So that's a thriller. Eh, not interested. Oh god, that sounds horrible. No, oh, thank you. Eleven and holding. Okay, well, that's it. Okay, so we just went to the six little free libraries that we said we were going to. We went to all of them, and then we looked on the map, and we found three more that were very close to where we were. So we are deciding to go to three more quickly. Hopefully we find something. Okay, well, we decided to go to some more because there was some more near us. So this is the next one. This one's also really cute with a little bench by it. Okay, so let's see what this one has. Wow, okay, this one already looks like a little bit more promising. Like we have some thrillers up here. There is a CJ Box book I want to read. It's not this one though, and I don't like when authors do this on the back. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Um, let's see, cooking books. Uh, what's that thing? Eligible. Curtis. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Alright, the only good ones I'm seeing are these maybe CJ Box books. But I'm not really into these like super mass produced like, I don't know, like Tom Clancy authors. Okay, and then we have a bunch of children's books. Grave Images. What's this? Ooh, okay. That looks fun. Um, yeah. Okay, nothing in this one either. There's a couple more that I think we're going to try to go to quickly. I don't really see much in this one. Okay, Water for Elephants. The case of somebody. Ah, I'm so disappointed I haven't found anything today. Lots of children's books, yeah. Typical, typical. Nothing really in this one. So this vlog feels very unsuccessful because every time in every single one of these little free libraries there's children books and really old mass market produced paperbacks and I don't know what I was expecting but it feels very unsuccessful. And we should have got the goth book. I didn't want the goth book. What am I going to do with that? It looked cool. And what am I going to do with it? Look read at it. it. I'm not going to read it. I was looking at it one time, put it back on my shelf, never get used again and then I have to worry about storing it. No, and, and then we take it Finding to space for it. Library. I'm never going to a little free library again. This feels dumb. This feels like such a waste of time. And all this time we've been driving around for three hours going to nine little free libraries. I could have been read a book. Could have been read been a book. Rode a bike very much. <laughs> all right, so I think this is actually our last one now, right? Yes. All right, so we're at the last little free library. Well, let's predict what we're going to find in there. Probably some old paperbacks and children's books. Children books. Uh, I feel like this vlog is such a waste because I've said the same thing every time. Let's see what we got in here. Some old paperbacks and some old uh, children's books. Last little free library. This one is very small. Oh, okay. This one has some okay things. Let's see what's in here. The Lake of Fire. So these are old library withdrawn books, which is not a bad thing at all. I go to a lot of library sales myself. This one, I feel like these two are popular ones I've seen around a bit. Rise of the Rocket Girls, In the Time of Butterflies. I'm not really interested in any of these though. And then lots of children's books. This one's very small. All right, that is the end of our Little Free Library vlog. We've now gone to nine Little Free Libraries and we haven't found anything. So yeah, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> 
We did find one cool goth book, but you didn't want it. I don't want random things I'm not going to actually read. And I have to figure out how to store, where to store them. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely a fail. But I guess I'll do it again, right? Yeah, we'll try it again and find some other ones. I think somewhere. maybe in a different city. Yeah. I don't know. So now we decided to stop at Marshall's because we're over by Marshall's now and we're going to go inside and look at some of the Halloween decor. So I will go ahead and take some footage in there and show you guys what we're finding at Marshall's in the Halloween decor section. Popping in again at the end of this video to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm curious if there's any little free libraries in your area that you like to utilize. Have you ever found anything really good in a little free library? This was the book that we talked about in the video that I found at a little free library in Columbus, Ohio. Um, Tell Me I'm Worthless by Allison Rumfit. This was the best book I've ever found in the Little Free Library because this is like a brand new release. So I was really excited to find this in Columbus. I have not read this book yet though. Let me know what the best book is that you have ever found in a Little Free Library. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.